Today, <clears throat> I'm going to do a quick service on the tractor. Um, I was going to take it to get it serviced. Uh, the first 50 hour transmission uh, hydraulic oil change, but it was going to be in the shop too long and I've got a lot uh, that I need to do with it right now. So um, I'm just going to do it myself. Uh, I went to the uh, deer dealer here in town and got some high guard transmission and hydraulic oil. I got four gallons. I think it takes just over three. Um, and then I got the filter here that they gave me. So, um, ah, I'm going to get started. So I think you're supposed to take the left wheel off here, but I'm going to do it without taking the left wheel off. But, so there's the, where are we at? There's the drain plug. There's, you gotta unhook that hose and take that screen out with that Allen wrench bolt there to clean the screen off. That's got a magnet in it to get some, grab the metal shavings. <clears throat> so uh, those are the two things you do under there. And then you fill right there on that little cap thing. So I think it holds just a little over three gallons. So I'm going to grab a tub and set the camera up and drain it. Okay, so this seems to be a 13 millimeter Got my bucket to catch the oil. So I'm going to get started here. All right. Oh, pardon my bump. Oh, man. There we go. Broke loose pretty easy. And just gonna get my hand all hydraulic -y here, oily here. No biggie. Try to hold it in there until it's done. There it is. So, I mean, I don't know what hydraulic fluid looks like clean because this is my first go round with it but that looks pretty good granted the tractor only has 50 I think three some three hours on it um, and I did have it in the shop I did maybe with three to five hours I don't remember for sure um, it had a slight drip of this fluid here, um, but it ended up, I think it was just uh, it, it, one of the gaskets didn't seal well, so they replaced that and um, all was good. So hopefully, um, I think my bucket might be too small, so I might have to put the plug back in and empty this before all is said and done. You can kind of see there, she's getting toward the top. In anticipation of that, I'm gonna get ready. To plug that. All right. Not an ideal situation, but it's what I had and how it's gonna go this time, so. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video and dump that and I'll come back shortly. All right, I'm back. And to those who are worried, I did not just dump it. I've got a, another bucket that I dumped it into and I will get rid of it properly. So I'm sure everybody doesn't want to watch this drain, so I'm going to cut to the next part, um, taking the hose off. Let's see if I can get in there.
a screwdriver for that bottom one to push it up, but that one's there. Let's see if I can get this one last time before I go get some more tools. like it's an H6. Some people would have probably let it fully drain before doing this. It's basically done though. I'm on a time crunch. So this is what you get. Gonna flop that down. Make it just come out like that. it so I'm gonna clean it off and throw it back in there and I'll see you in a bit so here's the tube and then this little magnet here goes in the end and I just pulled it out so I can clean everything off inside of there and then just put it back in Okay, time to put this back in. There's that. You won't be able to see it, but I'm going to put the plug back in the tranny drain here while I'm at it. It stops everything. And next on the agenda is to get those hose clamps back on.
One done. Oh, come on. Get wide. A lot of people say get skinny. Get wide for this. Okay, that's back. Okay, so that right there is the filter. I'm looking from the front of the tractor back. So hopefully I can get it off there with my hand, but we'll see. Try a different set. I don't think it's gonna make a difference. Maybe it will. There we go. Don't worry, I got paper towels and stuff below that. Not ideal. Not ideal. seal on this one I like to always always do that on the new filter Just put a little oil on the seal of it so it takes well Okay. 
All right, time to fill. Fill it up. wanted to see and where we were at on the dipstick and everything. So I'm just gonna put a just a very little bit in. Check it again. Oh yeah I can kind of just gauge how much it goes up on the dipstick with that amount. Since these bottles aren't super great at measuring them. Okay. Okay, so it is nearly full. While I was at it, I went ahead and greased all the loader uh, joints and all that. I've been using it pretty hard. So I wanted to keep those nice and lubed up. I uh, checked the front axle oil, it looked good. Checked the oil, engine oil, it looked good. I'll probably change it around 100 hours. I, I read. I've read different things and the manual, I don't, I haven't fully read the manual, but um, I'll probably change it between now and 100 hours and then start the regular intervals at 200 hours. But, um, so yeah, today I changed the hydraulic oil for the 50 hour service and it has 53 and some odd hours on it, I believe. Yeah, 53.7. Um, so I said earlier in the video that I had it in for a leak and so they took all the gasket off and I would assume they changed it, replaced the oil at that point as well. Um, but 
Still wanted to get the 50, ser 50 hour service done, so I did that. Checked pretty much everything. Like I said the front axle oil lubed up the grease cirques um, and checked the engine oil. Took it for a drive, all works well. So now to the, put it to work. <laughs> 